Hello and welcome to the Violet Sanctuary Spa YouTube channel. I'm Tia Johnson, creator of the Violet Sanctuary Spa, your online holistic spa. And it is Ask Away Wednesday. Woo! <laughs> so today's question is from Tammy in the U.S. of A. She writes, Tia, what is your take on physical mediumship? Well, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, physical mediumship, you've seen it glorified in movies. For example, there's a person holding a seance and something may fly across the table, light flickers, or you may see the deceased person's face on the person who is um, holding the, the seance. Um, <clears throat> and my take on it is to, one, be sure you know what the heck you're doing, okay? Because you are contacting um, a spirit. Um, two, be strong. Make sure that you have enough energy to send uh, that past loved one um, back home. You know, you don't want um, that person to linger around, give you more messages after the session is already over. You, you don't want that energy sticking around you. Anytime you do any uh, energy healing, you always want to cleanse your area, you know, all that, that good stuff. And three, you really want to feel comfortable with what you're doing. I mean, if, if, um, if something moves on the table or if you, people start to see their, their past uh, loved one's face on your face, you don't want to get spooked out. You want to be able to maintain your, um, <clears throat> uh, your ground. You want to be in control because you are the one hosting uh, the, the session. So my take on it is just really, really start from knowing what you're doing. Know that uh, you are contacting a past loved one. Uh, get the information on the past loved one. And, and figure out if they were um, like stubborn. You know, get to know their energy a little bit, so that way you know who you're you're you're, um, you're contacting. For example, when you contact Archangel Michael, you know that his energy is strong male energy but it's also loving everybody has their own vibration you just want to have an idea who you're contacting uh, I actually prefer the, the mediumship that involves being clairvoyant uh, clairaudient clairsentient clair olfactory for example um, <clears throat> when um, my pop pop passed I smelled his cologne very 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 strong and um, I, I, I knew that 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 was him. I mean, it, it smelled as if he was standing right next to me, but obviously he wasn't. So that's clear olfactory, clear smelling. Um, another form of mediumship. Um, well, actually, my grandparents come to me mostly in my dreams, and and that's really cool. That's that's good for me. Um, some people hear things. For example, it could be a song. My pop pop and I we have. Uh, three songs that are just ours like that's just our song that song plays and that's bam that's it you know so um, I like that kind of mediumship it lets you know everything is okay and so forth or uh, even if you are holding a session with someone and, and you may you may hear um, um, uh, roses and roses and you're thinking I don't know what that means but you say it to the person and the person starts crying like oh my goodness my grandmother always gave me roses something like that I like that I prefer that method better because it's it's um it's safer I, I like that method better it's more um dealing with your your gifts really honing in on on your skills whereas with the physical mediumship is more of the spirit doing his or her thing where they're like moving stuff around and things like that i'd rather it be more of a conversation than hey let me move this over here and all that other sorts so that's my take on it all together um uh be strong know what you're doing and be comfortable if, if that's for you and and you have um, um, really practiced a lot on the physical mediumship, you're comfortable doing it, by all means, go right ahead. But it's not for everybody. This is um, physical mediumship is something that people have to really be strong to do. And, and not necessarily strong as like brute force strong, but strong is like confident, you know what you're doing, you're, you're grounded, you're firm. All like that okay so that's my take on it uh, thank you so much Tammy for your question and have a wonderful holistic day 
Hello, did you like my video? Well, if you did, please make sure to share with like-minded individuals and don't forget to leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter because you will receive my free mini ebook entitled A Cheat Sheet to Discover Your Life Purpose. So head on over to www.violetsanctuaryspot.com and you will see that you can sign up for my newsletter as well as find out other information about the Violet Sanctuary Spot. So thank you. Have a wonderful holistic day.